Hey guys, Marilyn here. So, um, my bestie, who's also a crafter, um, she sent me a text message this morning saying, Hey, I need to go to Joanne Fabrics over there by your house because your Joanne Fabrics has such a bigger selection. And she was wondering if I wanted to meet her. And it's like, really, am I going to say no to going to Joanne Fabrics and Michael's and Tuesday morning and, <laughs> and all that good stuff? No. So, uh, first we met up over there at um, Michael's, and I didn't get anything at Michael's. Um, I believe she bought some storage containers because they were 50% off. Um, she bought some storage container for some fabric that she has. She has only been sewing for about a year now, maybe, maybe a year and a half, and she's getting really, really good at it. I've been sewing since I was little, since I was eight, and... So she showed me um, these little cute little boxy um, pouches that you can attach to a lanyard or to your keys or something like that. And I'm like, oh, I want to try making those. So that's what we went shopping for. We went shopping for fabric for making those little boxy uh, keychains. However, when we got <laughs> to Joanne Fabrics, Cricut was having a make and take. So they were... Um, uh, doing infusible markers today. I have infusible markers and look, I see that I made a boo-boo there. I didn't even finish coloring my flower. So at any rate, um, when we walked in, we're like, oh, we have that stuff at home. And then she's like, hey, we were looking at the fabric and my friend says, hey, you want to go grab a cart? And there was nobody sitting at the table. And I was like, you know what? I think I want to color with these markers because I've never used them. I have them in my craft room. I haven't used them. I have used the infusible ink um, sheets, but I've never, uh, dove into the, the markers yet. So I was supposed to get a cart <laughs> and I see my friend about three minutes later, come around the corner. I think she knew that I was sitting there coloring. So then she came down and sat over there and started and picked a sheet too. And she's like, okay, well, I guess I'll make a bag too. But it's really nice because again, you know, crafters, we have so many things sometimes that we acquire and we want to get to it and we never get to it. I've never used the infusible markers. I have used the infusible sheets, but it was nice to sit there at uh, Joanne Fabrics and, and actually do it and see how it comes out. The colors on the markers, I'm so surprised they come out as vibrant as the infusible ink sheets. So this is my little make and take pouch. So she did have sheets that already had the artwork on there. So you could either color it in or if you wanted the entire image on your bag, then you would outline it. I outlined everything because I wanted the entire image on my bag. So it was nice to have a little make and take at Joanne Fabrics today. And of course, with my favorite products by Cricut. So let me show you my little mini haul here. Um, I do have a Bath and Body Works, obviously, that is not a um, crafty item, but I got a great deal because not only did I have a free item up to $16.50 that I earned, I also had a free birthday gift that was going to expire tomorrow for $6, and then they also had a coupon for $10 off of $30. So with the free items and the 10 off of 30, I only, I spent less than $30. So let me show you what I bought. Oh, and then I do have an Amazon item. I took it out of the box. I'm like, oh my God, wait, I have to show this. Um, so I was unsure about this case. So I'm going to show you what that looks like as well. So let's dive into, oh, we went to Hobby Lobby too. So, um, so mainly... Girl Scout cookies, how can you not go to Joanne Fabrics and not get Girl Scout cookies? However, when we went to Michael's, my friend opened up her trunk and she had a case full of cookies. And I'm like, oh my God, you have Thin Mints. Can I please pay you for a box of Thin Mints? She's like, here, you can have it. And then after we left Michael's, we went around the corner because all my crafting stores are all in one parking lot, guys. I am so lucky. So there's Michael in, Michael's in its own little section. You drive around the parking lot. You don't even have to go to the major roads. You drive around the parking lot, and then you hit Burlington Coat Factory, Ross, Joanne Fabrics, Dollar Tree, and Tuesday morning. I do have to drive a little ways to go to Hobby Lobby, but I think that's about 10 to 15 minutes, so it's not that bad. 
So, um, cause you never can have enough bobbins. This, I was able to use my 50% off coupon. So I believe this was $8, $7.99. Uh, there's 12 bobbins in here along with its own little carrying case. So I used the 50% off of that. Plus I had a 30% off your total, uh, purchase. I think it was or regular priced items. I, I don't remember. Um, I think my receipt is in here. So I'm going to start with the fabric first because I got some really, really cute fabric. So let's go with that. So because we want to make these little boxy, uh, little keychain things, this is the fabric I chose that I can play with. Mickey Mouse has always been my favorite character ever since I was little. Look at how cute she is. And then look at this Mickey Mouse on the back side here. I love that image so much. So I did have a black and white Mickey Mouse fabric. And then I thought, oh, well, with the plaid, it looks a little more adult-ish. As if that even matters. Um, then my friend had found this B one. And she had two kind of B ones. There was this one here. And then she also had another one that had, oh, there's little sunflowers behind the bees. Or daisies. Oh, I just I just noticed the flowers. Um, so she had another bee fabric that had wings that were made out of little silver glitter. But I like this one better because it just looks very kind of vintage. And I like that one, so I got that one. She bought some of that as well. And then I found this, which I absolutely love. And it's bright with the neon. And this is black. My room is a little, the lighting, I got to figure out the lighting still since I redid my room, but I love this fabric. So I got that one. And because I love everything vintage, I found this fabric. This is absolutely gorgeous. The Simplicity one, handmade. Look at those images. I love stuff like this. And this just reminds me of when I used to start sewing and how I used to watch my grandmother and my mother sew. So I love that. And then I found this cartoon one and I didn't even really know that this was actually um, sewing related. So let me go ahead and open this one up. I bought a yard of this one. But look how cute. Modern Home Sewing Woes. Look how cute. How was I supposed to know to cut on the bias? <laughs> uh, why does everything happen to me? Oh my God, such a tragedy. Sold out. No, I just need another half yard. Oh, been there, done that. Uh, let's see. I can't bear to leave these bolts behind in my fabric addict. So look at how cute this is. What does this one say? 14 hours and six broken needles into Meg's latest denim endeavor. She dashes out for supplies only to discover, sure, boys and the beach are fun, but at home, I'm pre-washing fabric for my next sewing project. This is so cute. I'm so glad I bought a yard for that, of that. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do with that one, but I love that. Um, what else is in my Joanne fabric? So I bought this in the remnant section because who doesn't like money? So at any rate. All right, and then I have my little supply list. I have a serger, and I have, uh, that serger is probably as old as my daughter, 23 years old, and I tried to use it recently, and I followed the instructions on how to uh, thread it, and for some reason, it's still not working, so I signed up for my little serger class, and she gave me a supply list. Um, oh, here's one last thing. Here is this poly vinyl this was in the cosplay section it's kind of like a little rubbery kind of like some of the the that little rubber lining that you find in makeup pouches i wanted to make a pouch um, for my makeup and then i figured well if i put this in there if something spills or gets dirty you could just wipe it up so i wanted to try it so i got a little bit of that all of this was on, all of this was on sale, but this bag is so cute. I'm glad I, I tried out the infusible markers. Um, back here, I probably will put this is my Joanne Fabrics Michaels Dollar Tree Tuesday morning shopping bag. <laughs> all 
All right, so then we went to Hobby Lobby. And at Hobby Lobby, well, I bought my favorite t-shirts because these t-shirts, these are the only t-shirts that I like from Gildan. They are the, the Ultra Soft Blend Poly Cotton Rayon. These are super soft and super flowy. Um, so I bought a gray one and I bought a black one. And then this is some other items that I bought to make these little boxy um, pouches for your keys or your lanyard. So this was at Hobby Lobby. This is, it's a faux leather and it is this, this pale rose pink color. Okay, so this one says pink pearl. You know what? I was at Goodwill yesterday, bored, and I found this at Goodwill and I fell in love with it. And because my room is, my craft room is pink, white, and gold, it's actually a mirror. Okay, it's a mirror, as you can see. Look at what I did on my ceiling when I was painting. Um, but look at how pretty this is. This is so pretty, and it's the same color as this. So I'm going to hang this little mirror up somewhere in my craft room. Um, so I got that. This is 24 inches by 8 inches, so it's 8 inches um, in width and 24 inches long and then here's another one this one is called um, this one is rose holographic so this is really pretty for a little pouch it matches my Samsung phone look at that and then it does have this little soft fabric on the back this texture here it's kind of like a felt but obviously it's thicker than a felt and then the last but not least, I also bought this holographic in iridescent multi. So this one kind of looks more like a gold holographic. So those are the three that I picked. These were 50% off, so there were $2 and change. That's a good deal for making small projects. These were also 50% off. Um, these are Soology, the swivel hooks and D-rings for the little pouches. Okay, so there is, oh, so they do come with two little D-rings in there as well. I'm just now noticing the little D-rings in there because I bought this just in case I wanted to put it on the other end, but it they have them already in there. That's okay. That was all 50% off anyway. And then, of course, I bought a couple more zippers um, for the smaller pouches. So I got these. These are 9 inches. Um, so that's everything from Hobby Lobby. So let's go ahead and put that back in my bag. And then I'll show you what I got at Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works I know is not a crafting item. However, um, I had an item that was, um, that I had for free on my account up to $16.50 that I earned over time for free. Then I had another item for a birthday item up to $6. And then they also had a coupon today for $10 off of $30. Plus the three wick candles were $10 off on top of that. So I got a lot of great deals at this store. And I'll show you what I got. So this was my free item. Sorry, I had to pause. I thought I heard somebody walking in, but my daughter's at the tattoo parlor. So look at this. Look at how sparkly this is. I was debating on getting this item. So this is what happens. So even though um, you get an item for $6 for free, you can't get an item that's actually on sale for $6 and use that as your free item. So I was so confused when she was explaining everything to me. So I left. I said, you know what? Let me just make the purchase. I have free items. I have a $10 coupon. It's like $22 for everything. And then when I left and I got some air and I hadn't eaten all day, I went and ordered my Portillo salad and some greasy onion rings. I had to. And I had one onion ring and I thought about it. I was still in the same parking lot. And I thought, wait a minute, why did I get a $6 item 
that was on sale from $16.50 instead of getting a $16.50 item for free. That was stupid. So I went back to the store and one associate looked at me like, uh-oh, she's back. And then the second one that really, really helped me throughout the whole uh, uh, purchase, she was smiling. And I was like, you know what? She's like, let me guess. You you figured it out. You, you understand. You got it. <laughs> I said, yeah, I did. I said, can we do what you suggested at first? Because I left the store without this. And I took a $6 item for free, which was stupid. So their coupons are kind of weird, but... At any rate, I digress. This was my free item. Um, she said, hold on to it if you don't really love it so you can exchange it for something that you really, really do want. I did want the gold one that has all the butterflies on it, but they didn't have it. Um, however, there's another Bath and Body Works by my house, so I can always go there to see if I can exchange it. And then here's a new scent called Daydream Ultra Shea Body Cream. This originally is $14.50, but this was $6. And I couldn't get that as a free item, so this was my free $6 item. This is actually a hydrating hand cream, rose water. And she said it has, oh yeah, it says hyaluronic acid on there. She said she, that one is really, really good, so I got that. And then so I can get the $10 off of $30.00. These candles were $10 off today. This is Fresh Cut Lilacs. Oh my God, I wish you could smell this through the video, but you can't. It smells so good. The, I, my favorite one is Black Cherry Merlot, but I think this one is going to be the next best one. And then the Daydream, which is the new scent. This smells oh, so fresh and so clean, but a little, little, little tiny bit fruity. I don't like a whole lot of fruity scents. But this smelled so good that I even got the body lotion, which was $6. So in order for me to get to that $30 mark, I got the watermelon lemonade hand sanitizer. This smells really good. Mm, I wish you guys could smell it. All right, so the next item. So my next item is from Amazon. I saw somebody post the next item on the Cricut Easy Press website. And I thought, eh, I don't need that. I'm not going to get that. I'm just going to put my mini easy press with my big case that my original 9.9 .9 fits in because I still have space in that case. And when I thought about it, I was like, well, wait, what if I just want to leave the house with a tiny little mini press? Because the temperature on that actually goes higher than the original 9 by 9 easy press. However... I still love my easy press, don't get me wrong. And then I have a large press. So I got this on Amazon. Some girl posted this on the Easy Press website, the Cricut Easy Press Facebook site. And I clicked the link and I'm like, no, I don't think I need that. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just order it in case I do want to leave the house with just the Easy Press. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty sturdy. As you can see, there's the, the bias tape with the zipper nicely secured. There's no gaps. It's very uh, well put together. This would have been nice if it was like a little pull-out uh, handle here. Um, but let's take a look at the inside. I see something here. So clearly this is something that you can attach something to. I did take a peek. I'm not going to lie. So this is what the inside looks like. You get your a little red key ring to go with it, like you're going to put this on your hip. Uh, then you have this little strap. Let's hook this strap on real quick. Or I could... <laughs> what if I put this on it and put it attached it to my jeans? That would be funny. With this big case. It's a big little case is what it is. Kind of like the big little joy. I can't wait to... To check that out all right so this case is really sturdy so I pulled out my little mini press oh okay there's a zipper I pulled out my little mini press because I wanted to test it out alrighty whoops Let's, there goes my tripod Oh my gosh, if you guys would have seen what I had to go through to put my phone back on my tripod, you guys would have just unsubscribed. So, at any rate, <laughs> so, 
All right, so this case, so I don't know what this little pocket up here is for. Maybe you can throw some little bit of a little vinyl or fabric strips or whatever you're working on. That's a cute little project in there. Let's see how this fits. Oh my God, that, get out of here. Oh my God, it fits perfectly in here. Get out. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, I love this. I really like it. Look at this. Oh my God, how cute. This kind of reminds me of the Beats case that came out for the like the little pill uh, speaker because I had bought one for my son. This is exactly, this is almost exactly the same type and texture and make. This is really nice. Oh my gosh, I really like this. So guys, this was I think like $16.98 or $18.97, something like that. So I bought this on, on Amazon. And again, I'm not going to take credit for that. Some girl posted um, her little Easy Press uh, carrying case on the Cricut Easy Press website. And at first I was like, eh, I don't need that. Like I'll just put it in my big case with my Easy, my 9x9 Easy Press. But this is really nice. This is definitely worth the investment for protecting your mini press. So that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.